Welcome back to Raid Shadow Legends with Blaze in Corp. Uh, we are going to continue our Doom Tower series with Ninja versus Anarl. Uh, here now we're in, in Doom Tower Hard, and we're going to take it to the streets uh, with this one in our versus battle uh, on the Frost Spider. It's for floor 40, if I'm not mistaken. Next. All right, so we're on floor 40. We've got a ninja versus a Naro. We're gonna see who puts out the most damage. Uh, Doom Tower, floor 40 hard. Uh, we've got Under Priest Brogny, who's gonna bring uh, most of our protection, our resistance, our um, block debuffs and shields. And then we're gonna have our two healers, plus uh, Doom Priest, who is very important in this match, uh, for me at least, because uh, I don't really have too many champions that can clear debuffs, but she does it passively just by taking her turn. So that is huge uh, there on that end. All right, so let's get, let's take a look at the champions here. All right, so first things first, we got Ninja. You know, he is really well kitted out, I do have to say. Uh, here 31,000 hit points. Um, that's the only thing I wish was a little bit higher, but we really want to, pr to prioritize having high attack uh, here with him and um, a decent amount of defense. All right, so 4,300 uh, defense, uh, almost 44, 2,100 uh, defense. We've got um, 211 speed, 88 crit rate, 253 crit damage, 134 resistance. 306 accuracy we do need accuracy to land his debuffs uh, there which are really important to his skills uh, we didn't have under priest brogni literally probably the best champion that i have currently um, him and bad l just share the mantle uh, there right now uh, and then we've got Sil the drakes who we're going to look at next so he's in a stun set you know he's putting in work 80,000 a health point 1600 attack 2500 defense 210 speed 31 crit rate 108 crit damage 233 resistance and 162 accuracy he is also bringing to the table another 60 uh, resistance in doom tower battles uh, which is super important uh, in climbing the doom tower you need resistance baby all right, so Sil of the Drakes, my precious, she is fantastic. Uh, she is kitted for the end game uh, here. So 49,000 hit points, 1,400 attack. We got 3,500 defense, 204 speed, 108 crit rate, 126 crit damage, 277 resistance, 257 accuracy. Uh, we should have this at 80 inside of uh, i don't know probably a month uh, you know with the way that uh, arena is going right now so you know she's fantastic i absolutely love her kit all right so uh, who do we have next we've done three uh who did we, else did we bring in here so we're gonna do a naro in a second but doom priest super important to this particular battle all right she is not necessarily kitted out properly but she's kitted out to deal with these situations as needed so far. all right so doom priest is not necessarily kitted properly but uh we're gonna go with you know she's kind of got the right stats to do whatever she needs to do uh with her passive so 4700 attack or 4700 hit points 2200 attack 2100 defense 184 speed 113 crit rate 129 crit damage 167 resistance 87 accuracy we could definitely re-kit her we probably will one day uh, there um, i know we have uh, some new doom tower rolling in a couple days so we'll see what we get out of that uh, there but she does uh, get shields with every time she takes a turn because of uh, the ring that she has on all right, and then last but not least, uh, the other half of our versus battle. She's not really kitted in anything crazy uh, here. I could definitely re-kit her, 
but I uh, don't really feel a need. She is specialist, all right? So she's not running in all my teams. She's literally running in certain parts of the clan, of the clan, not even clan boss anymore. She certainly, she's running only in certain parts of the game. I hear mainly Doom Tower for certain bosses. Um, that's what I found uh, kind of crazy for Doom Tower is you literally have to kit people you never thought you would. And so it's um, certainly stopped me up in the hard Doom Tower in certain bosses, uh, having to get uh, certain people kitted out just for that boss, which is uh, just a nightmare. I don't really like doing that, but um, you know, it is what it is. Uh, luckily, Anaro was one of my first champions uh, that I had for Legendary. So, um, you know, I did kit her out, took all the time to do uh, masteries, everything like that. Uh, so, you know, is what it is, but I don't really use her all that much anymore. So, uh, you can kind of see what her stats are here. She's kind of rolling hot. You know, got good crit rate, crit crit damage. Now, good accuracy there. Um, just like Ninja's low on the health points, um, but got a decent amount of attack and defense. All right, let's get this party started here. All right, so, basis of this team is get the shields on, get the death block debuffs on, and make sure we just don't get controlled by the boss. Uh, here, get our HP burns out, especially on the main boss, and you know, if we can get it on the adds uh, while we're at it, so be it, that'd be great, because every time they take a turn, they're gonna hurt the boss. And then uh, Ninja's gonna explode HP burns, so you kinda can't go around there, and um, Doom Priest is like super important, so if people do get frozen, she takes that frozen right off. They don't lose their turn. Um, so definitely important that she's faster than our other two DPS champions. All right, so got the HP burn on. This should be pretty light work for these two uh, here. Um, the one thing that really works in Ninja's favor here is that um, he is likely, because his A2 is a random hit, I hear he is likely to put HP burns on the adds. That's going to give him some extra damage every time they take a turn, which is kind of neat uh, there as well. Now, obviously, reflect damage does quite a bit of damage uh, here, especially if you have reflect damage with Giant Slayer procs. That's going to be huge. Just massive amounts of damage, which you kind of can't go wrong with. All right, so uh, you can kind of see they're making quick work of this particular boss here. Um, HP burn is really the strat that you want to use in this particular level. It's not really another strat that you want to use here. I mean, you can always bring in a Dexter Blood Twin if you wanted to do something like that, but for the most part, um, you know, just kind of leave him out of it. And if you don't have him, or if you do have him, you haven't gotten kitted like uh, like myself, right here, it just uh, makes sense to kind of take care and go that way. Uh, go this way, I should say. But yeah, if you do have Dexter Blood Twin, kit him out. Uh, here i'm definitely gonna get around to kidding him we just have so many um so many events nowadays it's insane uh, here but i'm really um you know definitely someone you can kid out dexar blood to probably be the best person to bring in here uh, here if you um if you're having trouble or if you just don't have like you know, certain hp burn champions and dexar blood twin is not um like he can be used in a lot of parts of the game uh, here rather than just be a specialist like an Arl is uh, here. Not even like Ninja's not a specialist. I actually use him quite a bit uh, everywhere. He actually works really well. All right, so let's see who won. Oh, Ninja. All right, so Ninja put out some damage uh, here. I do have to say like he is quite impressive uh, here. They didn't really come in with the same stats, but um, just the fact that he can explode is huge. And, um, you know, definitely since he's free as well, that's also something that's important uh, on that end. All right, guys. 
that has been it for this video. We saw Ninja took the cake with this one uh, here. So if you were uh, wondering, hey, is Ninja as good as they say he is? Yes, he is. Uh, there, kit him out, put books in him, get him to the proper stats with the proper accuracy and uh, make sure he has at least a mod of criminal defense on him. Um, and then you can run him with people like Iron Brago if you're worried. Um, under Priest Bragni or someone that's going to heal him constantly or at least put a shield on him so that way he doesn't die so quickly. Alright guys, have a fantastic day. Do like and subscribe. Don't be a ninja watcher uh, here. We'll see you again next time. Let's chat then.